Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Thanks for clicking today's video. Um, so today I'm going to be doing my top 10 favorite products that I found from either TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Um, so yeah, and I'll also try to memorize the prices of each product that at least I paid for it. And most of these products that I am showing you today are still available at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, so you can definitely go ahead and get your hands on those products. Of course, someone decided to start mowing the lawn, but I also wanted to mention that all these products I have tried and used before. I do have a bunch of new products that I would consider my favorites, but they're just my favorite finds. They're not so much my favorite products because I have not tried them out yet. These are all products that I've tried out, loved, know I love, and I do have a bunch more products that I have to try out to see if I actually love them, if that makes any sense. I hope it does. Um, if you do hear any snoring in the background, I do have a dog sleeping right next to me and I didn't want to disturb her because she's literally the cutest little thing and so I'm just gonna let her sleep there so if you hear any snoring I do apologize but if you guys want to see my top 10 favorite products that I found at TJ Maxx or Marshalls then just keep on watching okay so as some of you guys may know if you see my past video I did get a new lens so if I keep looking down and make sure I'm focused I really do apologize I'm just trying to get used to this whole lens thing um but so yeah let me show you guys my favorite products what do i want to start off with first okay so the first products that are my favorite that i found from tj maxx or marshall's are these two faced milk chocolate soleil bronzers i have the chocolate soleil and the milk chocolate soleil bronzer and i'll show you what they look like and I paid $10 for each of these. And I think the reason why they were at TJ Maxx and Marshalls is because they did change the packaging on these products. Um, so I think because of that, they were found at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. This one's milk chocolate and this one's dark chocolate. I will go ahead and swatch these for you. Okay, so this one up top is milk chocolate and this one on the bottom is just the regular chocolate soleil. This one I tend to use more towards the summertime because it is a little bit deeper, but this top one right here is really good for when I'm fair and during the winter time. I love the way these products blend out on the skin and how they give it a nice warm glow, but it or warm warmth to the face, um, but they don't, like it's not too orange, you know what I mean? It's like that perfect in-between warmth if that makes any sense and they also smell so freaking good but like i said i did get these for ten dollars each and i when i found these i about fainted my next favorite product is the Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation. This I actually like to use when I am just going to put concealer on and I just want a little bit more coverage on my nose and on my forehead and that kind of stuff. This is when I'll go in with this. I actually have another shade that I got from Marshalls um, or TJ Maxx, but this one's in the shade Golden Light. I do have one in the shade Fair that I have yet to use, but this is what it looks like. It also smells just like the chocolate bronzers that I showed you earlier. So that is a swatch right there of that powder foundation if you want to kind of get like a idea of what the shade looks like. Alright so I decided to take out the new one that I haven't used yet so you guys can kind of see what the packaging looks like. Um, this one's in the shade Fair. So this, I haven't seen these or the Chocolate Soleil bronzers at Marshalls or TJ Maxx in a while but who knows they could come back. Um, and I did pay $9.99 for this which was the same price as the bronzers. Okay, so the next product that I have found that I really, really love is this Lorac blush in the shade, in the sh I have a stuttering problem, <laughs> it's in the shade Spectra, and it is a gorgeous color, let me go ahead and swatch this for you guys. Okay, so that is what the blush looks like in the shade Spectra. It is super, super pretty, it's like literally my favorite blush color, and it also blends really nicely on the skin. But so yeah, I'm really happy I found this and I hope I find more colors. This I did find recently, so you might be able to find it at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. But I'm hoping they come out with more colors because I love the formula of this blush. Okay, so the next products I found are a little bit cray cray. Like I have a huge amount of these. I paid about $7.99 for all of these. Um, these are the Anastasia liquid lipsticks and lip glosses. I, as you can see, I have a whole bunch of them. Um, this is one of my favorite formulas and I also like that these aren't like discontinued shades. Um, from what I've seen, these products are still being sold at Ulta and Sephora and Anastasia's website for full price. So it's not like these are discontinued shades. They're all shades that are being sold for full price, if that makes any sense. Um, but so yeah, and these they still have at TJ Maxx and Marshalls if you do go ahead and look for them. Okay, so these are all the Anastasia lip glosses that I have, starting from the top, working our way down. I have Amber, Sepia, Fudge, Dainty, Caramel, Toffee, Parfait, and Warm Bronze. 
Okay, so now I have all of these liquid lipsticks. I'm going to go ahead and swatch all of these for you guys so you can kind of see which shades are available. They do have a bunch more colors available now at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, but these are the ones I have so far. Okay, so I tried to swatch these as best as I could, but starting from the top and working our way down, we have the shades Pure Hollywood, Catnip, Heathers, Poet, Dusty Rose, Ashton, Crush, Veronica, Craft, Seraphine, I think, <laughs> Sad Girl, Stripped, Milkshake, and Allison. So those are all my Anastasia liquid lipsticks and lip glosses, um, and I paid $7.99 for each of them, and they are found at both TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Okay, so my next favorite products are actually also from Anastasia. These are their, what are they called? Matte lipsticks. I freaking love these. These are one of my favorite matte lipstick formulas. I'm going to go ahead and swatch these for you. I have a total of... One, two, I have a total of eight shades, and these were also $7.99 each. Okay, so starting from the top and working our way down again, we have Dead Roses, Dusty Mauve, Spice, Staunch, Kiss, Buff, Rosewood, and Honey. Okay, so those are all the Anastasia products that I have from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I love their lip glosses because they're super opaque and not sticky whatsoever. Their liquid lipsticks are not super drying at all and they last a really, really long time on the lips and they're also very comfortable. And the matte lipsticks are one of my favorite formulas because they're super creamy, so they're not super drying on the lips and they also have really, really good staying power. Okay, I adjusted my seat a little bit because I was starting to like slouch down. But anyways... The next products that are my favorites from TJ Maxx and Marshalls are these Stila Liquid Lipsticks. I have quite a few of these. There is one of the shades in here that I did not get at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and I actually got in a Sephora set, but I don't remember which shade it is. So I'm just going to go ahead and swatch all of them for you because I'm sure, I think it was Toscana. I think that's the one. I don't know, but I'm going to go ahead and swatch all of them for you. I think these were... $5.99 each if I'm not mistaken and they do still have most of these shades available if you can find them I have quite a few shades. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all these for you But first off before I swatch them these are by far my favorite liquid lipstick formula They are super comfortable not drying like not even a little bit. They are really really matte and they last like a crazy long time. Like I actually prefer these over my Anastasia ones. I just, I love these so much and I have like all nudes, so don't judge me. <laughs> okay, so starting from the top and working our way down again, I have Toscana, Sonata, Biscotti, Nudo Shimmer, Angelo, Bellissima, Sheer Ballerina, Caramello, Rico, Paradiso, Sheer Splendor, and Loom Shimmer. I probably butchered all of those names, but we're just gonna ignore that. You guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, so my next favorites are also from Stila, and I'm sure you guys will probably guess what these are. These are the Stila Glitter and Glows. They do also have the Shimmer and Glows, but I'm not as big of a fan as those as I am of these. The Shimmer, of glow Shimmer and Glows are like liquid eyeshadows, where these are like liquid glitter. I freaking love these. I have almost every single color I found so far. Um, all the other colors that I've seen, I wasn't like a oh my god, I need that color. These were like the colors that I was like, oh my god, I need them. But I'm always using these to add a pop of sparkle on the inner corner of my eyes, on my lids, basically wherever. They do also have the highlighters, like the glitter and glow highlighters. I do use those on my eyes as well, but those ones I'm not like crazy about because they're the highlighters, you know what I mean? Like I like the eyeshadows, if that makes any sense, which it probably doesn't. But anyways, let me go ahead and swatch these for you. So I do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I do have eight full sizes and three like little mini sizes because the mini ones I actually got in a set. I think each of these cost around, I want to say $5.99 and the little mini set that I got was $7.99. Okay, I hope you can see those okay, but starting from the top and working our way down, we have Stylish, Gypsy, Ballet Baby, Sea Siren, Note, Next to Note, Into the Blue, Molten Midnight, Enchantress, Gold Goddess, Kitten Karma, and lastly, Diamond Dust. So I'll kind of like move my hand so you can kind of see the colors in different lights or different angles. 
But like I said, I really, really love these. They're super easy to take off as well. I don't notice a whole ton of glitter like lingering around. You don't need a glitter glue, which I find like awesome. And they're super easy to put on. I literally just go like this, take it out, put it on my eye, good to go. Okay, so the next product I found is actually a setting spray. This is the Too Faced Festival Refresh Mystical Effects Setting and Refreshing Spray. And as you can see, it kind of has like a little layer on the bottom and you go ahead and you shake it up, which I'm not gonna lie to you, sometimes it's really hard to like shake it up, but once you get it going, you have to the ball jiggling around in there. And it's just, I'm gonna show you guys. I don't know if you can see like all of the like glitters like floating around in there. Or not glitter, but like iridescence. And I love using this after my makeup if I want a little bit more of a dewy look that day. Um, I'm usually more of a matte girl, but I've been finding myself going for a little bit more of a like a dewy look. So when I do go for that kind of look, I do take this spray and spritz it all over my face. It smells amazing, um, and I just love the way it adds like that luminosity to my skin. Um, and it doesn't make me feel like extra oily. Like it keeps my makeup at bay, if that makes any sense, but adds just like a little bit of sheen to my skin. I hope that makes sense. It's really hard to explain but I just I really like this product and I think I got this for $12.99 so crazy crazy and this I haven't seen at all at TJ Maxx or Marshalls recently I've literally seen one of these the entire like time I've gone or all the times that I've gone um, so keep your eye out and let me know if you find one of these or if you have one and if you like it um, this one was a really really cool find and I haven't seen it but let me know if you guys see it recently I did get this a few months ago Alrighty guys, and the last two products are eyeshadow palettes. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch a few shades, but then I'm not gonna swatch the whole palette because I'm sure you know one of these palettes very well. Um, the first palette is this Clara Cosmetics, um, I don't know how to say it, the Marrakech? I don't know. But anyways, I got this for $12.99. And I really, really, really enjoy this palette. Um, a lot of people have been saying mixed things about it, but I, I thoroughly enjoy it. It has really awesome colors in here, and I really like the formula. Um, I've been trying to pick up more of these palettes because they have different ones from different colored eyes, I guess. Um, but I haven't been able to find a whole ton of them. They are definitely like a hidden gem. This is what the inside looks like. If I didn't say this is by Clara Cosmetics. I just, I love the layout of this. It has literally, like, you could live off of just having this palette and you'd be good to go. Let me go ahead and swatch a few shades for you. I'll swatch here. I'll show you which ones we're going to swatch. I'll swatch this gold. This purple. Um, this blue. Let's do this black. Okay, so those are what those shadows look like. As you can see, that black is super, super pigmented. That gold is nice and rich and shiny and super buttery when you swatch it. And those mattes are just an awesome formula. I'm really obsessed with these and I love the way they blend out on the eyes. Like I said, I have heard mixed reviews on these palettes, so it's definitely something you'd have to try out for yourself and see if you like the formula because everyone likes different kinds of formulas. Personally, I really, really like this and for the price, it's literally awesome but so yeah i'm always on hunt for new shades of this palette because they it's so good it's so good lastly is these anastasia subculture palette this is actually another anastasia product oops i said that was my last i said the lipsticks were my last one but it's not it's this palette i freaking love this palette this i've heard people like really really bash this palette and actually hate it because it has a lot of kickback and it's just super powdery but i genuinely like this palette i actually paid like 24.99 for this but i have seen them lower the prices for these as well i'm gonna go ahead and swatch a few shades i, I I just love this palette like it's just so gorgeous I love the warm tones the greens the blues some hints of yellow some purple like I just I love this palette my favorite color is this one right here called electric oof so I'm gonna swatch electric um adorn I think it's called I'll swatch edge and I'll swatch Axis. And I actually did do an eyeshadow look with this palette, which I will leave up in the card thing above, or I'll put it in the description box below so you guys can go check it out if you want to create a look with this palette. Specifically, I do have a tutorial on that. Okay, so those are the shades Electric, Adorn, um, Edge, and Axis. I just, how do you not like that? Oh my god, it's so stunning. Look at the pigment and like... Oh, I, I love Anastasia's palettes. They're just awesome. 
Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below and give this video a big thumbs up. I definitely plan on doing more of the top 10 of my favorite TJ Maxx and Marshalls finds because there's always new products coming in on a daily basis. So my favorites change all the time. So I'll definitely be sure to do more videos like this in the future if you guys want to see them. Also, I decided to do more swatches in this video because I got a lot of requests to swatch products more in my videos. So I hope you guys like that as well. Um, but so yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.